just thank you, Lord, for this beautiful morning you have given us. We thank you for food and our strength in our body. For your son and send that to Jesus' name. Amen. of excellence in all that I do every single day. Um, I think of you when I make my bed and I think of you when I'm sharing the love of Jesus to the women that I lead through who I be. Um, but the memory of you that always means the most to me uh, when I think of you is the memory of how you and I would blow kisses to each other every single time I left your home until I was all the way down the driveway and I couldn't see you anymore. So. I mean, what means the most to me is how much you unconditionally love me and how you always believed in me. And that love is the thing of yours that I will always pass down. Hi, Grandma and Grandpa. It's tough for me to just come up with one memory as I have about 30 years of wonderful times with you guys. I would have to say that my best times, though, were my summers when I was younger and I'd come over and Grandpa was teaching me the importance of restoring tractors and always having grandma there bringing us coffee time, making sure that we always had everything we needed, uh, taking care of us anytime we needed it. Anytime we got our clothes all dirty, quick washing them, giving us something to wear while she was doing it. And my favorite memory of grandma so far is when she taught Sam and I how to can peaches and grandpa when he came over and planted those peach trees with Grant and Brett. We love you guys. One of my fondest memories as Grandpa would probably have to be when me and Brett would ride over and help him paint his farm walls. And one of my favorite memories with Grandma is going over and learning how to can peaches with her. Mom and Dad. We enjoy getting together with family for things such as the fall bonfire. The wieneros, the treasure hunt, and um, we just appreciate that you continued this tradition. And we thank you for all your prayers and your unconditional love for us. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for the day spent on the farm and the wonderful example that you guys have made of a great marriage. We love you. Love you. Aloha. We just wanted to take a minute to say we're very thankful for the great example you've set for us and all the stories you told us about Hawaii and Korea. We love you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We want to thank you for all the ways that you've cared for, cared for us, from feeding us amazing food to teaching me how to hunt and teaching Larissa how to drive a tractor. We're so grateful for your example of the Christian life and of a Christian marriage. We love you. Hi, Mom and Dad. Thank you for being uh, parents to us and uh, the way you have brought us up and your unconditional love and not giving up on me as um, we grew up. And. Um, Thank you for all you have done in my life. Thank you. And I say thank you for loving God most of all 
and that reflects in your love for all of us. I truly feel like I'm your daughter. We love you. Hi. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas from Cosette. Uh, one of my fondest um, memories about Grandma was when she made matching pajamas for us uh, when we were um, younger and also searching for treasures at Grandma's house. And um, one of my favorite memories um, with Grandpa was when he graciously traded me some brass buttons from his military uniform uh, in exchange for a little piddly wooden gate that I had made for him. I think I got the better end of the deal. And I, th I think I still have those brass buttons. Um, so I, I, I do appreciate that. I guess I also wanted to say um, their kindness towards others was something that I'll always think of when I think of Grandpa and Grandma. Yeah, me too. As a kid, I can very vividly remember rummaging in various drawers and closets at Grandma's house, rummaging and hunting for treasures. In the more recent past, Grandpa let me go rummaging in his barn for some more treasures. Some of them were permissible to take home and some of them weren't. And the ones that I was allowed to take home are treasured still. But the best treasures found at Grandpa and Grandma's aren't material. The best treasures are the memories of playing with cousins, the toy closet, the rooms downstairs and the fun things we found there, the bonfire, and the connections that we were able to make with our aunts, uncles, and cousins because we were so close to one another. And now with my own family, I understand the treasures that Grandpa and Grandma gave us through their commitment to each other, to their faith, to their church, their wisdom in parenting and grandparenting, their vast knowledge on numerous topics, home and farm related, and their deep fidelity to one another. Thank you for giving us so many treasures to keep and pass along to the next generation. What did you like about Great Grandpa and Grandma? And what else? What do you want to tell them? Okay. Do I need a bronze like being on camera? <laughs> I don't think so. Anyway. The things that I appreciate most about Grandma and Grandpa are the heritage of faith that they've passed on and received from generation to generation, and I hope that we can continue that, uh, that, continue that legacy. And my favorite things about memories would be Grandma's applesauce, getting to make it and eat it, and then also playing with the corn auger and getting to play with all the cousins so very often. Dear Mom and Dad, thanks for 34 years of letting me call you Mom and Dad. I always enjoyed staying at your house. Dad, I enjoyed you telling us interesting stories and bringing us around and showing us things around the, uh, the Oskaloosa area. And Mom, nobody makes applesauce as good as you do. Thanks for your support over the last uh, 10 years especially, and thanks for welcoming Val into the family. I love you. Merry Christmas. Hi, Grandma and Grandpa. We just really admire your, your selflessness. Uh, you are uh, willing to give to anyone that you know that needs it, and we just think that's pretty cool. Hi, Grandpa. Jacob really enjoys looking at your antiques at your barn and talking to you and learning about your antiques. Hi, Grandma. Jen remembers last Christmas when she found a screw in her applesauce. I hope you still have it as a spare. 
Hey Grandma and Grandpa, it feels like it was just yesterday that we were enjoying Thanksgiving dinner with you and it feels like you're still here right next to me. I love how you built this big family that really enjoys getting together anytime that we can to spend time together. And one example of that is last time when we came to Iowa, you brought us touring to see what all the cousins are up to. And when we asked if you'd called ahead to let people know that we were coming, you said, they'll find out. Uh, and it's true that the Bryans are happy to see that some cousins have come. Uh, and thanks for the same way being really welcoming when we come to visit Iowa. I love you. Oh, thank you, Mom, Dad, for um, all you've done and for us. And thank you for putting up with us on Sunday afternoon when we come for coffee and play pool. Mom, I love it how you always have everything that we need, including the hammer for a wooden cobbler bench when the kids broke ours when they were little. When I was three, I had a terrible babysitter and I didn't want her to put me to bed. So I told her I was going to call my grandma and she could put me to bed. The babysitter immediately made sure I couldn't get to the phone, so I did what any logical three-year-old would do and ran upstairs to my parents' bedroom where the second phone was and called grandma. So thanks grandma and grandpa for saving us then. And now. I love the lessons that Grandpa and Grandma taught us about keeping our faith, always leaning on our family, and working hard for what we want. And I love the memories of working with Grandpa on the farm and decorating cookies with Grandma and all the other cousins. Top memory of mine with Grandpa and Grandma is coffee time. Tastes great every time. Was making sure that when we were little and spent the night at your house that we always knew where all the food was, including the strawberry ice cream in the freezer. Love you guys. My memory is the sharing the love for the trees and birds and everything around um, where we grew up. And I appreciated their love for gardening and giving us rhubarb plants and mom was such a help when I was first starting to learn how to can and so I really appreciate that. I remember getting the quilt that grandma made um, that she made for all the grandchildren. I remember going with grandpa into the barn to find a dresser and how grandma helps teach me how to redo it and restain it and everything and took the time to show me all of that. I loved when grandma asked me what card game do you want to play today and I got to say ice cream you scream we all scream for ice cream. Hello from Jason and Carissa, Avery and Kaylee. My memory is coming to your house unexpected, getting fed, and Grandpa praying, and Grandma reading from the Bible. Uh, I appreciate the support that uh, we've had over the years and the uh, wonderful times around the table. Whenever we come to your house, you always have cookies and juice. Thank you for letting us come to your house. Love you. Miss you. It zoomed way in. Okay. Now go. Okay. Ready? Yeah. One of my best memories of Grandma is um, growing up, she would always let me play with her tea sets, her nice um, glass ones, and she would always play with me and give me yummy cookies, of course. Uh, I remember growing up that Grandma loved to play games, so we play Skippo and uh, ice cream, and how she loved doing the scavenger hunts for us when we um, were over for the bonfire. She absolutely loved um, us running around the yard and trying to find everything. Well, I, when I, one of the things I remember with Grandma is I, I did, when I was little, I used to do some help her stuff in the kitchen. That was always a good time. And, and helping Grandpa when he needed need my help, picking apples or whatever it may have been around the farm. 